feel about how things went today? It's a good day. Yeah, good day. Um, you know, that's a good team. They've shown a lot on tape. Um, scrappy, they play hard. So to come out with a win, it's awesome. I don't know that you've done a lot of hurdling, uh, even on the field. Does that just come natural when you see a guy at your feet you're just and you're going full speed? You just kind of go over? I think it's, you know, it, it's pretty instinctual. Yeah, I don't think you you don't plan those things, and uh, that's why I love football. You can just go out there and be completely free. You know, obviously you got an assignment to do and a track and reads, but after that, it's just let it flow and play with instincts. What did it, it mean to you to get to 13 straight games, touchdowns, pass, pass and Jerry? Oh, that means a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, touchdowns are a lot of fun. So hopefully we can keep it rolling. Have you ever had a game like that where you scored four touchdowns in a game? Maybe some Stanford or? I don't, I don't think so. I think, yeah, I don't think so. I think four might be my most. He didn't even know you had four, so he wasn't thinking about getting you the fifth. You obviously pretty new. You're not the kind of guy who'd campaign yeah. for. Wouldn't it? And some, in fact, you might have, and five would have been nice. Yeah, it would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, he's obviously got a lot going on uh, in game, and that's the last of anyone's worries is to, you know, do that. So as long as we scored, I was happy. A lot more on uh, involvement in the passing game today. I mean, you're always involved, but in terms of having balls thrown to you, what, how, what opened that up? I think just um, just sticking with it, you know, in, in this offense, there's so many guys who are dynamic with the ball. Um, you know, the first and second read are typically open when you have a great, great route runners who can catch. And you have a tight end who can do everything you want him to do, and you have a fullback who can do anything you want. So it's, you know, if you don't get to that third, fourth, three, and you have a play caller who sets it up to be like that. So, uh, and then a quarterback, obviously, who's phenomenal. Um, but some games, he just works out that way. Some games, it doesn't. It just, you just got to be ready for when the ball is thrown to you. Brock was 20 of 21. Did you realize that while it was happening? Or did you I didn't know that until after the game. His one incompletion he threw to me. So that's on me. Uh -huh. He's mad about it. He said he should have hit him first down. <laughs> no, that, I, yeah, I mean, we'll have to check the tape. It could have been my fault. We'll see. Uh, Elijah was out. Debo had been practice. Did you have a feeling you were going to, I mean, you always get the ball a lot, but this, this game really might come have a focus on you? You know, I don't, I don't think about those things. I, I just, for me, it's about being in the moment. Uh, you know, each play has a life of its own, and you have to live in that play. and go from there and whatever happens at the end of the game happens. But it's just about being extremely present and preparing um, every week. Have you had an opportunity to watch that the touchdown, the 18-yarder on the swing pass? No, I have not yet. Because of all the blocking in front of you, I mean, there's so many, either six or seven guys that seem like made great blocks. Do you see that as that play's developing? Or is it just a feel? For um, I, it's, I think it's a multitude of things. I think it's, first off, trust. Um, you know, even though it's a swing pass and you're in space, you still have a job to press blocks, to set up blocks, and then obviously make make one miss. And in this offense, if you make one miss, you could be gone. And so um, Juice had an amazing block. He took the MDM on the right, and Debo blocked his guy into the end zone, and then all the blocks that came uh, on the inside. Um, it's so fun to play for a team that takes pride in, in blocking. You got a guy like Debo and Ayuk and Jawan, and today out there, Ronnie, and Ray Ray and Ju, I mean, the list goes on. Kittle, who just every game, that's kind of the standard. And then an O-line who just is unbelievable. It's its fun because you don't know which play is going to pop. Are you a LeBron James fan? <laughs> yeah, I'm a LeBron James fan. Tweeted about you in the middle of the game? I saw that, yeah. That was really cool. That was really cool. Yeah, to, I didn't know he watches Niner football, but got to get him to a game. <laughs> you were traded here October 20th last year. So it's 19 days shy of a calendar year that you been here. Does it seem like a long time ago or does it seem like yesterday? How would you and, and the, sum up this almost year? I mean, being such a big part of this team now, what, what's, what's it been like? Um, it, it feels short, you know, I still feel like I kind of, you know, but also I feel comfortable. Um, but <clears throat> I think the, the cool part from my perspective is how these guys took me in a year ago and uh, none of that's changed. You know, like I said, I, I got the call. I was traded. Um, John Lynch called me right after that. 
And then I got a call from George Kittle. He was the third person that called me. And that's just kind of a testament. And he represents the whole team and kind of how they took me in. So uh, I'm just really honored and blessed to be a part of this team. You said he, that he knew you were good when they treated you very good when you were traded for you, but he didn't know you were this good. Do you hear some of that? I mean, I know you don't want like, to be right about yourself, but does that feel good that you're showing this to your teammates? Yeah, I think, especially like I said, on this team, it's about showing up every day. Uh, the standard is so high. You know, Trent's a Hall of Famer, arguably the best left tackle to ever play. Um, and you got guys on this team who the standard was set. You know, they, they built this culture for six years. They went through a lot of tough days. Um, obviously, I had my good times and bad times in Carolina. And uh, to come into a team who, where the culture is set and to watch the way that these guys play, it forces you to want to elevate your game and do everything you can for them because you know they're doing the same for you. Christian, we've talked about this a fair amount, but you just referred to Brock as phenomenal. And so what is it, what about him and the work that he's put in that has made him a phenomenal quarterback? I think you can just go down the list of what makes a quarterback good, and he checks every box. Um, and then he has all the intangibles, so that would be phenomenal. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really uh, – and then he brings, a, you know, a kind of swagger and energy every day that um, – it's fun to be around. You know, he's quiet, but he's very confident, and he uh, expresses that in the way he plays. So it's it's just awesome having him in the huddle. The inclusion of BA, you know, since obviously he was out last week, how does the inclusion of BA open up your offense, and how has he looked this year, you know, compared to last year? Yeah, he's BA is amazing, man. I you know I told him it's nice when you miss a game, and I remember he cares about this team so much. You know, last game probably be pissed at me for saying this, but he was kind of in tears that he couldn't suit up and play. And so to me, that meant a lot because I saw how much he wanted to be out there with us. And even though it was something minor, um, he wanted to play so bad. So to come out here and have the day that he did um, is awesome. Uh, just a great, great guy to have on our team. The lead was down, the lead was down to 21-16 before your fourth touchdown. At what point, I mean, going into that drive, do you say, we need this one more than any other one? And, and how did you go about getting that? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know if we ever have those kind of thoughts or conversations because um, every drive is equally important. Obviously, there's some where the stakes are higher, um, but we treat every play the same. Um, you know, it's just about executing and doing your job. You know that when you have a play caller like that, it's, you don't know which one it can be. So, um, like I said, it's special to be a part of a team where that's the case. Appreciate it, guys.